Hello there and welcome back. In this video, I thought it would be useful for you to see how you can um, use or do something productive with fabric. So the easiest example I could conjure was to show you how you can create a script which is able to provision a new user with a specified password. So basically we are going to call this new user.py and we are going to import from the fabric module the connection and from the invoke module we will import the responder and uh, after these were imported what we can do is to import from the get pass module the get pass import get pass and just so you can see it as well what we need to do is to specify a username which will come from the input and we will say please enter username and we will have a password which will come from the get pass please enter password and we will have the sudo pass which will come from the responder and we will have a pattern to respond to with the raw string and uh, this is going to be sudo password for ansible and the response is going to be ansible backslash n so this is like you write the password and just simply write a new line character or hit enter so to speak so now what we can do is to create our connection and this connection will be like ansible at centos a and the connect keyword arguments is going to be password and this password is going to be ansible now we are at the like real deal so this is how you can create a user so we should the c run with the sudo user and and this is going to take an argument and this whole needs to be in double quotes in an f string and we will use the f string substitution so username and what we would like to do after that is to create a pty equals true and uh, watchers is equal to the sudo pass so what we are saying here is that we should a sudo user add whatever we specified with the user and uh, in case of any output that matches what the watcher from the responder can match we would like to execute the the actions defined by the watcher and then what we would like to do is to run the sudo password and uh, we would like to specify the username and in order to execute this we need to use this std in so we are taking from the standard input and what we would like to do here is between single quotes we echo the password to this and uh, after this was done uh, what we need to make sure is that we simulate appropriately what would happen if we were to do this manually so when you issue the password uh, for a specific user you get a prompt you enter a password then you get to confirm that specific password so we need to confirm it twice 
and uh, basically we also specify the pty equals true true and the watchers equals to sudo pass all right now let's say we would like to execute the new user that py and we have a typo so it's not responder but it's responder but apart from that we can specify new username so let's say we have a new service which is k8 ask so like kubernetes and we specify the password k8s and after this has successfully completed we should have a k kubernetes uh, username with the kubernetes password and uh, basically be able to log in so ssh k8s at centosa and k8s and if we are able to successfully log in then we are good to go and we should be so <laughs> this is how we roll so uh, you could use the user mod so you could add the new uh, c that run to give this user a specific group member privileges but uh, this is something that you could or should be able to figure out on your own. So, see you in the next one.